Hello and welcome. I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Richard Arnold and Richard, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, my name's Richard Arnold and I am a telecommunications representative with Time Warner Cable Business Class. Okay. And so let's just get right into the conversation here. What is a good, a good rule of thumb when selecting a telecommunications provider? Well, a good rule of thumb when selecting a telecommunications provider is to find someone who's going to actually put you and your business first, as opposed to looking for what they could gain in terms, in terms of revenue or whatever. Um, with Time Warner Cable, uh, their motto actually is we put you first and the technology second. And I can actually attest to the fact that we do. We do a lot of research. Uh, we come out there with an engineer, an account executive, and an account manager uh, to actually assess a customer's needs and to put, we reserve the right not to sell you anything that you don't need. Mm -hmm. So we'll come out there, do a free consultation, and uh, help you make the right decision. Okay. So there's a lot of. Um competition within the television or the the cable industry i guess i should say Absolutely. telecommunications industry and so uh you know i got i got a satellite person trying to get me to sign up i got time warner what is the difference between satellite and um a digital cable well time warner cable has i guess from the very beginning had a 20-year uh, vision uh, and what i mean by that is we have put in a hybrid fiber coaxial cable network in the ground to supply our customers and we just we started that about 20 years ago so we proactively build to our customers residences and their businesses uh, with cable television it's a different type of technology whereas with cable TV you actually have a physical coaxial cable with the uh, with our competitors or any kind of satellite television you may have a, what they call line of sight technology. So what may work very well in the winter time when there's no shrubs and trees may not work so well, you know, when the, we have the undergrowth and we actually have it. Um, technology has increased on the satellite side, allowing them to increase their signal. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to have to put in a service call every week in terms of getting your dish readjusted and those type of things. So. Okay, so you're saying, so obviously, if the, I guess the biggest difference I'm hearing you say is that you will never have any blackouts with the cable versus the satellite. Well, we take it's technology, so we do have issues. Uh, some people may have to reboot their modem every once in a while, but um, other than that, uh, it's, it's very reliable in terms of you never have to have anyone to come out and readjust anything and those type of things. You may have to switch out modems in terms of technology growth. Uh, as our technology gets better, you may have to upgrade and those type of things, but uh, it's a more reliable service. Okay. So how can um, uh, doing business with Time Warner benefit the community? One of the ways we've benefited the community currently is uh, we have a Connect a Million Miles minds program and basically that benefits students in science technology engineering and math and time warner cables given quite a bit of money to schools as well as uh, we have employees who donate their time and volunteer to educate children in those areas and it's been very successful as a matter of fact we just reached our goal of one million children connected to uh, science tech technology engineering and math and are doing very well awesome well that's great to hear and keep up the good work and uh Thank you for coming in today. I appreciate it. Yeah, and if any of you out there are interested in speaking with Richard directly, please check out his information at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue this conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care.